Hey everyone, Dr. Ungli here. So if you are watching my video for the first time, so let me take this opportunity to let you know that I make my I make videos on biochemistry concepts. So far I have more than 200 videos in my YouTube channel. So if you are searching for any biochemistry videos, so kindly take a look at uh, my channel and uh, probably you may find the video that you are searching for. And also if you have any special request for making any biochemistry videos, so let me know in the comment section below. And also if you have any question, general question related to biochemistry, so don't hesitate to put that question in the description below. I will try to answer that question as soon as possible. So in this particular video, I am going to explain how exactly any DH plus H plus that is produced in the cytoplasm by any pathway that is running in the cytoplasm where there is a production of NADH plus H plus, how it is transported into the mitochondrial matrix so that it will get into electron transport chain. One of the problem with the production of NADH plus H plus in the cytoplasm is uh, it cannot be directly transported into the mitochondrial matrix because inner mitochondrial membrane is impermeable to NADH plus H plus directly because we don't have any NADH plus H plus transporters in the inner mitochondrial membrane. So how to transport NADH plus H plus from the cytoplasm into the mitochondrial matrix so that it gets into electron transport chain to give ATPs. Now there is an alternative route for this and that is indirectly you can transport H and H plus that is present in NADH plus H plus into the mitochondrial matrix and that indirect mechanism is a shuttle mechanism. There are two shuttle mechanisms that are that can carry H and H plus present in NADH plus H plus into the mitochondrial matrix and they are glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle mechanism and malate aspartate shuttle mechanism. I have made a video on glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle mechanism. Link for that video is there in the description below and also it is appearing right now in the upper right corner. You can take a look at that glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle mechanism. Now, in malate aspartate shuttle mechanism, how cytoplasmic NADH plus H plus are transported into the mitochondrial matrix. Now, any reaction that makes NADH plus H plus in the cytosol, so cytoplasm, I have inner mitochondrial membrane here and the matrix. So, the NADH plus H plus that is produced in the cytoplasm, so we are all concerned about H and H plus, not necessarily the NAD part of NADH plus H plus. So we can transport so the difference between NADH plus H plus and NAD plus is NADH plus H plus as this H and H plus. So we are all concerned about this H and H plus. Somehow if you can transport H and H plus into the mitochondrial matrix, so they can go into electron transport chain. That's the idea here. It's a kind of smuggling this H and H plus into the mitochondrial matrix in an indirect way because we don't have direct transport of NADH plus H plus through the inner mitochondrial membrane. So we are going to use a transporters which are already available in the inner mitochondrial membrane. So we have malate transporter and aspartate transporters. So oxaloacetate in the cytoplasm which, has, which is a keto group which contains keto group here. So oxaloacetate is a four carbon molecule which has two carboxyl group and a keto group there. So oxaloacetate can be reduced into malate where keto group is uh, reduced into hydroxyl group. So during that process NADH plus H plus is oxidized into NAD plus. This is how you can oxidize NADH plus H plus into NAD plus so that there will be continuous supply of NAD plus for glycolysis for any reactions that needs NAD plus. You got to continuously provide that NAD plus and this is how you can oxidize NADH plus H plus in the cytoplasm and to give NAD plus to continue glycolytic reaction or any other reaction. Now, what will happen to H and H plus? Now, the H and H plus will be incorporated onto oxaloacetate while oxaloacetate is converted to malate. So, now this is the structure of malate where you can see the second carbon as H and H plus here. So they are coming from NADH plus H plus. So we have your H and H plus in the malate. Now malate will undergo transport through the inner mitochondrial membrane by malate transporter 
Once malate is inside here in the matrix of mitochondria, here is your malate with two protons which I have colored in red color. Now the malate will be oxidized back into oxalocetate where NAD plus in the matrix of mitochondria will be converted into NADH plus H plus. Already available NAD plus will be there in the matrix. You are just reducing that back into NADH plus H plus. That means these two H will be reducing NAD plus into NADH plus H plus. So you got your NADH plus H plus in the matrix of mitochondria. That means NADH plus H plus that are produced in the cytoplasm indirectly we have transported those things into matrix of mitochondria because we have transported protons H and H plus and use those H and H plus to reduce NAD plus which are already available in the matrix of mitochondria and make them NADH plus H plus. So you got your H and H plus from the cytoplasm into the matrix and while malate is converted to oxalocetate by malate dehydrogenase enzyme which is there in the matrix of mitochondria, similar enzyme will be present in the cytoplasm also. Now what happened to oxalocetate? Oxalocetate is undergoing AST reaction that is aspartate transaminase reaction. It's a transamination reaction where glutamate is converted to alpha ketoglutarate oxalocetate is converted to aspartate. Now aspartate will move out of matrix into the cytoplasm through aspartate transporter in the inner mitochondrial membrane. So in the cytoplasm aspartate is converted back into oxalocetate by aspartate transaminase in the cytoplasm where alpha ketoglutarate is converted to glutamate. So you got back your oxalocetate and that oxalocetate can be further reduced into malate by taking one more NADH plus H plus converting that into NAD+. So this is how malate and the aspartate. So the movement of malate and aspartate in and out of mitochondrial uh, matrix is the one which will help in the transport of H and H+, present in the NADH+, plus H+, plus in the cytoplasm, back into the matrix of mitochondria. And in the matrix of mitochondria, so basically the inner mitochondrial membrane, this NADH+, plus H+, plus, which is going into electron transport chain. Electron transport chain is located in the inner mitochondrial membrane. So it will be oxidized in the first complex of electron transport chain back into NAD+. Plus. NADH plus H plus oxidized in the first complex of electron transport chain into NAD+. Plus and H and H plus will be pumped into the intermembrane space. Electron transport will be going on and in one NADH plus H plus, it is worth 2.5 ATPs. Why one, one NADH plus H plus is worth 2.5 ATP? So you can watch my video on electron transport chain. Link for that video is there in the description below. And also it is appearing right now in the upper right corner. So this is all about malate aspartate shuttle mechanism. So with this video, I have helped you. Means with this video, I have explained malate aspartate shuttle mechanism and in my previous video I have explained glycerol phosphate shuttle mechanism. I hope this video has helped you in understanding shuttle mechanisms. Thanks for watching.